licorice. It comes in strings, rings, and even sandwiches. But what is it, and where does it come from? The first licorice sweets in the UK were made in the town of Pontefract in West Yorkshire. The ladies who made them used to stamp on average 20 to 25,000 pieces of licorice every day. Try the honey and licorice. That is lovely, that. This sweet extract has been used as a herbal medicine for over 35 centuries. And it's believed to have a positive impact on your health. That is the licorice root. Yeah. Licorice originates from the root of the wild licorice plant, which grows in many countries like Italy, Greece and Mongolia. One of the finest licorice extracts in the world comes from the south of Italy in Calabria. It's been produced here for over 250 years. Locals enjoy their Calabrian licorice straight from the fields. The root contains a sweet tasting compound anethol, also found in anise and fennel. You taste the juice inside? That is incredible. The licorice roots are chopped and shredded before being tightly packed into huge canisters. Then the shredded roots are put into a big pressure cooker for steaming. Kind of like a coffee maker, steam passes through the fibre of the roots and it liquefies. At this stage of the process, the root is oxidised and the licorice acquires its familiar rich colour. Nothing's added to the root juice, it just boils and thickens for 12 hours. It's just made my mouth water yeah, and yeah. my eyes water a little it's bit. It's very strong. After it's cooled down, it's then turned into big slabs of licorice. These are wriggled into shape on a moulding machine. Finally, the licorice is blasted with steam to give it that glossy sheen. Licorice is added to all sorts of products, containing anywhere from 4 to 8% of the original licorice extract. People here insist that eating licorice gives them their youthful good looks. Ooh, passes a bag then. <laughs>